In this video, I go over installing QEMU and Virtualization Manager, otherwise known as Virt Manager, to run virtual machines in any version of Linux. To start out with here, we're gonna install some packages. This may look differently if you're not on a Debian-based install, but the packages are pretty much the same. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and run this command here on the screen. And really, uh, a lot of people just do app install vert manager, and these are all the dependencies. Um, however, in some other versions of Linux, you do need to list these dependencies because yum isn't very good about finding dependencies. Um, yum4, if you upgrade, if you're on Fedora, Red Hat, or CentOS, uh, I do recommend uh, upgrading your yum so it will find the dependencies. But uh, for today's video, I'm just listing these out here and we're gonna go ahead and install these. Okay, now that those packages are installed, we need to go ahead and add our user to the libvert group. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's the command we need, sudo add user, and we can go ahead and just do dollar sign uh, user. Um, that'll fill in my user, Titus, and libvert. It'll say, hey, it's already a member of libvert. And then we need libvert qemu, just like that. This goes ahead and adds it to these two groups. Now that it's added to the group, we need to actually do a sudo reboot and reboot our computer so it doesn't prompt us when we launch our QEMU or vert manager instance. Okay, now that we've installed this and we have our group set, let's go ahead and check our virtualization settings. This ensures all our virtual machines run properly and all the virtualization settings in our CPU have been enabled by the computer BIOS. So this command down here basically just grips the process of our CPU to ensure that it has, um, mine has SVMs and since it's a rather large core um, and it has I think 16 threads, you should see Oh, actually, I think that's 32 threads, um, but 16 cores, 32 threads. So it's a pretty much of a beast of a machine, and it's able to virtualize a lot of stuff. Now, if it's an Intel chip, it's not going to say SVM. It will say, I think, VMS um, or, or something of that nature. But if it doesn't show anything when you run, or VMX, if it doesn't show anything when you run this command, it means virtualization is not enabled and you need to check your BIOS settings to ensure IOMMU is enabled, not auto, but enabled. And then also check your processor settings. Usually there is a VD-T or a virtualization option that needs to be set to enabled, not auto, but enabled. And uh, in AMD, it's kind of, in my particular board, it's buried. I'd show you that, but um, it's different for everybody. So just check your manufacturer and how to enable those virtualization settings. All right, with all that done, let's go ahead and launch our virtual machine here. If we go down to virtual machine here, or you can do vert manager. Now I am running GNOME and GNOME boxes. So this is actually a normal error to see. If you're also running GNOME boxes, you'll need to do another connection. So just simply do file, add connection, and do user session. And this is actually gonna pull in all my GNOME box VMs. And from here, I can actually go ahead and launch one of these. So I will go ahead and do that. And click open. And as you see, it's booting up here. Now, I'm gonna go into actually creating VMs and doing that in a separate video for Vert Manager, but this is just a basic setup of utilizing QEMU, KVMs, and Vert Manager in Linux. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below and I'll get back to you. And if you liked it, please hit the like button and if you'd like to see more tech videos, please hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrisTitus.com.